Posidonia is incredibly special. What would our coastal places be without seagrass? It's this green life support system that gives juvenile fish a start off in life. It also has these root systems that hold down the sand and the sediment and prevent erosion later on. Unfortunately, our underwater meadows of Posidonia are actually disappearing. In six estuaries in New South Wales, it's considered endangered. And they think that in 15 years, it might actually go locally extinct. So in the past, the threats to seagrass, in particular Posidonia, have been coastal development, industrial pollution. More recently, however, boating activities are a great threat. For example, the boat propellers and also the boat moorings. But the good news is, just as we can restore humans to good health, we can do the same for seagrasses. So we can take the seagrass washed up after a storm or wind event, and we can take that healthy washed up seagrass and transplant it to where it's gone missing. The seagrass storm squatters are locals who pick up seagrass washed up after a high tide, a strong wind, or a big storm. So after storms or high winds, seagrass shoots can get dislodged and washed up on shore. When that happens, these healthy green shoots make the perfect transplant. Just a short walk from the Corlett Beach at the Anchorage Marina is a wooden chest and the shoots are then tucked inside mesh cases. Inside its mesh case, these transplants are hoisted on a zip line and launched down into the salty water below. This is a great short-term holding place for the transplants, giving them a second life. Scientists from the Department of Primary Industry, located nearby, then hoist these cases out of the water and store them in large open-air aquaria. Here, scientists from UNSW Sydney and the Sydney Institute of Marine Science work underwater on scuba to transplant the shoots into jute mats, restoring the scars from boat moorings. These jute mats will ultimately end up being covered with sand after just a few months, and these runners, or rhizomes as they're called, will be buried and secured, just like in nature. Our hope is that these rhizomes will then expand and grow and eventually re-establish an entire meadow. This might well take a few years, but it will also hopefully re-establish the critters that call seagrass home. Anyone can become a seagrass storm squatter. If we want to turn a bare, lifeless underwater landscape into a healthy seagrass meadow, we need all hands on deck. Every bit of seagrass picked up has a chance at a second life below water. Your shoot may soon give a fine looking fish or even a seahorse a home.